Just hours before the temporary exemptions from the United States steel and aluminum import tariffs were set to expire, the White House announced exemption extension for key allies. Washington also confirmed Seoul this granted a permanent exemption from steel tariffs. Kim Hyesung gets us up to speed with the developments. South Korea has been granted permanent steel tariff exemptions from the United States. This comes after U.S. President Donald Trump authorized modifications to the U.S. steel and aluminum tariff measures. In a statement Monday local time, the White House said it has reached a final agreement with South Korea on steel exports, the outlines of which were previously announced by the two countries' trade ministers. Seoul secured its permanent exemption by agreeing to quotas that will cut its steel exports by about 30 percent based on its average annual shipments to the U.S. between 2015 and 2017. The exception does not apply to aluminum tariffs. The White House also said it has reached agreements in principle with Argentina, Australia and Brazil concerning the tariffs, the details of which will be announced shortly. The U.S. is extending negotiations with the European Union, Canada and Mexico for 30 days, postponing the temporary exemption deadline to June 1st. As of now, it looks like President Trump has got what he had wanted. A one-month extension signals negotiations with the EU, Canada and Mexico are also well on the way. Just like South Korea secured its steel tariff exemption while renegotiating the bilateral trade deal, the U.S. is using the same strategy to win concessions from other countries like quotas and preventing steel transshipments from China. In March, President Trump imposed a 25 percent tariff on steel imports and a 10 percent tariff on aluminum, calling it a measure to limit imports and protect its national security, but it granted temporary exemptions to some of its key allies. The prolonged exemptions for Canada and Mexico come as the U.S. is working to renegotiate NAFTA, the free trade agreement between the three countries. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.